Oh well, hi, uh, this is a tutorial for an alternate method to pitch bends that is a bit more, um, I don't even know how to describe it, but it lets you use envelopes instead of just typing in little bars by hand, so it's a little nicer. Um, so right here I have, as the same from the last project, a lovely um, bass thing. So let's hear what it sounds like without any pitch bends. <laughs> Now to add pitch bends in this alternate method, you use uh, Kakos Recontrol MIDI, which under the Kakos folder thing is the second one, the second plugin down. Okay, so you hit OK. Cool. Make sure it's after. Oh no, it needs to be before your um, your synthesizer in the chain. Uh, so under control change, hit enable, and then choose pitch wheel. Actually, yeah, just pitch wheel, whatever. Um, actually, pitch wheel is already here. Okay, well, let's go with volume then because that was the default. Oh, let's just put these on top of that. That's nicer. Anyway, um, so you have your pitch wheel here. Now, what you can do is if you go and add an effects parameter envelope, you can hit pitch wheel. So, what this allows you to do, let's change the grid size a bit. Let's change it to eighth. Notes. It allows you to add points. And using Bezier curves, you can of course change how the pitch bend looks. Looks and acts, I guess. Now what you can do is um, right click on your MIDI item and go to apply effects, apply track effects to new items, or uh, apply track effects to items as new take with MIDI output. There you go. So now with this take, here is your pitch bend information that you input. Now as you can tell, the reset to zero is not exactly on the note here, which is really frustrating. I don't know why it does that, but so you have to actually go in and by hand move to reset your uh, pitch back to zero for that note by hand. Why is this? Oh, same here. So move that over, and at the beginning of your loop, add a zero. So now let's see what it sounds like. That's still not right. No, it is. Just kidding. Okay, now let's loop it a little bit more. Oh god, what the hell? Okay, now let's loop a little more. So it's a little more messy, but you can use an envelope to kind of get the basic idea there, but then you do need to edit it, excuse me, afterwards and uh, make sure that everything looks right. So you have your resets back to zero on the note instead of like in between notes, which just makes things weird. So cheers. Uh, there you go. Happy pitch bending. <laughs> Don't kill anyone.